hi guys welcome back for another video as you can see guys i am here for part three let me tell you something you know, guys you see sometimes we cannot have any shame in our game we cannot have any shame in life sometimes we have shame and have too much pride and we don't talk we have a lot of things to battle up you understand because sometimes your situation you know can inspire somebody else as as a lot of the comments eh? the people in the comments say eh? my situation they've been there they're still going they are still going through it and so, so you know it's just a relief to just sit down and talk and get off most things off my mind you know and i feel light when i have nothing i carry me have my baggage man my luggage People do me a lot of things in life and I just take it with a smile and move on. Three storms. The one that you are getting into, the one that you are in, and the one that you are coming out of. As we say in the previous videos, just hold on to the God. Just hold on to God. Just hold on to the big man. You understand? Because he will see us through. So, hmm, say this to say that. Fast forward, guys, to years before I left before I think about leaving Jamaica years before what had nine years nine years seven years before leaving Jamaica because my daughter is was about eight nine when about nine ten when everything start you know when everything start but left because <laughs> you know I was along with our dad and you know more time when man and woman break up or mash up things or work out you know and separation and whatever you know after a while them not look back on the child you understand so me used to do my business he used to come in with his own take care of him child a certain way you know and everything used to balance out but when him leave him not look back on her about seven years me not seen, me not seen for about seven years after the seven years that I saw this man, the man said, I told him to leave. Guys, the man said, me tell him to leave. Relationship ain't gonna work out with me. You never, you never tell him the relationship ain't gonna work out with you and your child. So me I said, what kind of stupidness is this? So me then I struggle. You know, then I struggle after them time they left and everything, me and her. The struggles never started still, but till about when she bought. 12, 11, 12 and then age you know it struggles really get hard for me now cause town gets stubborn guys town gets stubborn now and me not think more to go leave and go work with people cause me not know how to do that I don't have an education guys all my life I'm doing buy and sell and stuff so I don't know how to go and work with people you understand so we don't have pay my rent now you know cause I rent the rent place you know and we pay a whole heap of money them time they you know say so pay eighteen thousand or twenty thousand dollars for rent fifteen sixteen years ago you know say so a whole heap of um rent money you know a whole heap of money that twenty thousand at them time they are whole heap of a lot of money so me alone then you know i don't think things never did so stubborn still you know yet until a couple of years after now things start get stubborn things start get rough with me now you know guys uh, business now going good again, you know. And you know, because my hands are throwing my partner, you know. everything I'm owning in, in life. Partner, I'm throwing by all my stuff. Everything I'm have, I'm throwing my little partner. And I always live comfortable, right? So, I don't do my thing on them way there, you know. Always a true partner, guys. Always. Even from age when my son was a child. Because I used to send all age and I prep, prep school. Because back in them days, you know, when I have all age and, you know. You know, primary school wasn't that hit. Primary school used to go on, you know, but it, it was like, it wasn't that, you know. When I have a son, I say, you know, so I really want to send him to go to a prep school. And I did send agent to go to a prep school. And some, some of the times, I find myself getting my partner drag guys, and PM school fee. Mm hmm. PM school fee to show you the way our partner was useful back in the days, because you could get your partner money, you know spend some save some that is the way a partner supposed to nice but when things start get rough now with the guys you get a partner money and i have to put every cent in my business back like me i start of a square one that was so awful 
it's never nice again. You know, I'm tired, I'm in the business, I'm not to buy things, I get new money, I buy goods. Sometimes I have all the bills money there, you know, to pay all my bills, guys. And I'm um, saying, so, you know, so I'm going to take a chance, I'm going to take a chance, you know, and I take my money to pay all my light bill or my rent. I'm going to take it and go buy the goods, guys. I'm going to get back a dollar for pay my bills. I'm going to get back a dollar out of my business, guys. I'm going to pay my bills. Father God. Goods, them sell one, one. Are them stand up, guys. You understand? So buy me, look now. My light we all cut off. Buy me if you get. God is so awesome, still. You know. My light we all cut off. Because I'm saying, no, I take a chance now. Because see, I can't. Um, Turn up if you know a business, you know, you have to have real money for, to do business. You can't take your, your, your principal and spend it, you know, you can't sell it one item or your two, three, four, five, something and just spend it half, you know, guys, and don't buy back your goods. Your business is gonna mash up. You understand? You're supposed to sell your five items. If you ever sell one, you're supposed to go back and get back that, you know, and take any little profit that you make. You're supposed that is the profit that you're supposed to eat it. Or make it up and buy something else more put in your business you know but today today more time and i take out me now but me, i'm not making the amount of money to do certain things you know that is the thing you know i'm not making the amount of money to do certain things so watch you know did you know how struggles get real you know guys i was living at the place i'm 2005 you know 2005 i was living there until 2016 you know how much years that 11 years we live at the one place 11 years i was living at the one the same address i'm always giving a bills on time always pay my rent on time always do this and always do that everything good until about 2014 right 2014 or 2013 now things started real sticky guys and uh, you know what I did there, I said. Sometimes I make rent late and I will give the people them, then the rent late. But I always pay my rent, you know, I make another month coming up. Until things start get away, you know, guys, we're like, what, two rent? Two rent, you know, guys? I said, no value this bad. And for sure, you know, some people wake up and stay, you know, live at the place 11 years. I'm 2005, you know, guys, and I'm 2016, I live. 11 years, I live at the place. I was living there. And. I tell the old people, it's just all about money without having any love. You understand? And if you know a situation, me, I have my good people around me and my sister, them use, they are good people, you know, and they take care of my place and also them pay my bills. And she always a try, or him always a try to make things work and pay my bills. When things get rough with them, I'm not going to hard for them. I'm not going to tell them come out and cuss them out and run them out and them something there. Yeah, sometimes over oh, two months rent at a thirty, maybe or forty thousand dollars now in a member end up with a twenty thousand dollar now in a guys. I have a twenty thousand dollar now to give the people them. Them don't take it, you know. Them don't take it. They say them don't want it. Still want to show themselves really want to pay them. They don't want to live and don't pay them them rent. You can't live a people place and don't want to pay. So I want, I want to show them that I want to pay them the money, you know? You no know, want it. They don't want it at all, guys. So I say, what? You know, sad, it's not going to work out with me at all, at all. Take the half of the money or the quarter of the money, you know? The person are trying, the person not just there your place and want to pay no bills because that's not right. Them time you know, you know, say, hell broke loose. Yeah. And... And the people them sometimes my light cut off. I mean, I tell a lie, but one thing when my light cut off, you know, my little more you now, it's going back. You know, I pay my bills and some water, I pay my bills the same way. And I come here, try you now, come here, woman, you know, wash it and depend on nobody, you know. You understand me and make things work, see me. Tell me just say, you know, just go on my business, yeah, man. Get a lot of beat, but I still say, guys, just never ever give up. Just hold the feet, hold on to God. I met somebody, you know, the person called me, God is good. <laughs> she called me God is good because everything. My eyes are telling her, God is good, man. I came to the situation where I got through here, you know. Everything alright, man. God is good, you know. 
God is good. I don't mean to you tell people your problem and can't help you. Sometimes you tell people your problem and see you want to go back and post your talk behind the back or whatever. So I'm just keep my problem. Just say God is good, man. You know? Everything good, man. God is good, you know? God is awesome. So she called me God is good. <laughs> so, as me as Bede, I have to tell you that story at all. Okay, I'll leave all that party. Yeah. 2016, I left back track till up to about 2013. About 2012, guys. I give somebody 1,500 US. I know them people that are long, long time. Before we even get big in our business, we did it together. But you know, you never know people until money involved. Get a, get a purse of 1,500 US. So I was going to China. So guys, my son see the struggles. And some of us are my pick me a bridging from day one, you know. You understand? Come more time, you know, one by the Adrian. We the town sometime, you know, guys, and we don't sell nothing. Like my father got bought her business, bought in business, and a business with her. And it, it, it's so hard when we come home at the evening time now, and if you had three days straight, I don't sell anything, you know. Uh, three days straight, I don't sell anything. And sometimes we just think it's hard, you know, guys. We say, boy, I call him and say, hey, you know, say, I have no money, you can't give a man that lunch money for me. I hate that, you know. And he said, yeah, man, I'm going to have me some just have a big heart and I call him. And he said, yes, mommy. You know, you know that's why I said, God, I have to bless him. God, I have to bless him. And uh, him and Amanda, like this. And 14 years apart, you know, they are 14 years apart, and they take her like a father, father to her. So I saw them go from a long time, you know. One time, I have to tell a lot of stories. Sometimes I had the town, and you got to her from a nursery, you know, from she had a baby, you know, you man are on all them bicycle, you know, when he was about 15, 16, then time, then a guy is on him bicycle. I remember one time, you know. See him go here at the nursery and he was coming home with her. When he come home, he said the thermos break up. And you know them time that thermos here keep me put her porridge. He said I go nursery with her thermos, her porridge, her thermos full of porridge. And so when I when reach home, he just said, Mommy, you know, so I break up I'm on that thermos. So I said, Let me see, let me see me not even shake. I feel away because I never have a second one. But I said, Give God thanks, I never must go here. So I'm not going to quarrel with you about the thermos or whatever. God will bless me back with the money when we can buy back one. Look at why the man is the man. Every time, everything. Look at Adrian. Adrian, him not tell me no. Go and feel like a baby sister, a nurse, and them something. We can all come. Call him to come stay with her. And then we are there Saturday evening time, guys. And him not tell me no. The man is a stay with her. So, when him get bigger now, and them we are there. One big man and thing. And I'm having the money and so I say, John, more Christmas are coming and you know, the money they can lend me something and want to beg somebody to buy, buy some goods to me. Guys, you lend me money, faithful money, you know. Give the person the money. You know, catch me and the person and say, Chen, I'm going to deal with my good and whatever. When the man come with the goods, God bless him, give him back out of my 1,500. Eight bucks of rubbish. I could have hardly sell him back, but you have money to give him back. So what him buy come, I didn't want them, them goods there. I did not. I tell the person, so when you reach China, call my phone and I tell you what I want. I tell you what I want before, what was selling before him leave there, you know. Just go buy what you want to buy, you know. But, you should have give me a receipt. Guys, I'll tell you something. You see receipt? Anything you give people your money to spend for you, let them give you a receipt. You just carry the old goods, the goods them come give me without a receipt. Everybody has said, I should give him back. Give him back. People have said, I should give him back. But it was Christmas and I wanted the little goods to sell, guys. You turn over the money and pay me debt to go. Oh, and God bless. But anyway, I'm going to sell back Asian money, you know, and give him back his money. Because every, every debt, every honest debt, Every honest debt must be paid. The Bible tells us that. You understand? If me or somebody in it ride me straight, you know, it ride me straight. I'm have some one person with me who right now. I'm a no, I have paid them. Mm -hmm. I like what people, and number one people take all kind of disrespect, all kind of liberty, guys. So, some people just want to have things over here when anything, them take it and have that over here. You know? But, it, it's it's quite long to don't ever give up, you know. 
don't ever ever give up so that is the reason why i'm really looking at myself and saying i really never leave jamaica and when we left jamaica that was it worse situation not worse no word not worse worst you know but i've been through it i've been through the fire i've been through the rain I'm going through everything and I still even stand up, come out stronger. I come out without even any scars. You know? I'm a chosen one. God give him, you know what God do? He give him strongest soldier, the hardest fights. He pick out him strongest soldier, the man say yes. That soldier there, yes, you can go to war with the enemy. Yeah, man, and don't get a scar. Mm -hmm. So, we just are telling the guys. Don't have that in your book. Don't have give up in your book. Right? Don't ever, ever, ever think about giving up. Because you know what? Giving up is a sin. Giving up is a sin. Yeah. Because when people give up, you know, they lose faith. You know? Don't ever lose faith, guys. Right? I'm in the norm. Always. I don't know. I just, I'm just, I'm always live by faith. Always, I put in the work, you know, still, you know, I'm gonna sit on bloops and not doing anything. I expect that mana I will drop from sky, he ain't gonna drop, mana ain't gonna drop. So, we have to put in the work and make God do the rest, right? Put in the work, tell God what you want at least. You have to just talk to him, like I'm gonna sit on and talk on the video. I said, Father God, you know, say, you know, just put it to him, man. Talk to you like I talk to your children or your husband or your wife. Just talk to you and I feel you know, one heap of load, load. Just talk to you, man. You know, you're leading in your bed at night. Sometimes, sometimes I'll talk to God and nobody not even know. You know, sometimes I'll talk to you, man, and nobody ain't know anything. Don't know anything. That is a faith and that is a communication. That is a relationship with me and my God have. You feel me? That is a relationship. Just create, just, just build a bond with the, with, the, with the Holy Spirit. Just build a bond with Him. You know, just build a bond with the Holy Spirit. And your friend to know. You know? So, look here how much time I fall down, don't stay down. Because when you, when you go down, the only way is up. When you, when you fall down, the only way where you're going to stay down, you have to get up. Up. You understand? You have to get up. Yes, guys, the darkest part of the night when they soon light yeah that is deep so sometimes we know I go through trial and tribulation and we see myself deep I don't like I wanna know how we are come out and so sometimes when God gonna bless you and lift you up we go through more struggles the struggles get realer the struggles get harder but when God God is gonna lift you up and at least you feel like there is no hope you feel like all hope is gone Feel like hope is gone. That's when we need Jesus to help we carry on. Yes, man, that's when we need Jesus. Some people say, Well, I want another trouble on a call from God. Mm -mm. No, no, let them tell you nothing. God said, Call upon you. Call upon him. He'll never tell us when you're not trouble or not. You understand? I mean, them this art, this, this art here. Yeah. They make you feel like you're not to call upon God. You call upon Him when you're in trouble. You call upon Him when you're not in any trouble. When you're, not, when you're in trouble, like, that I want to hear from you. Because this one now, He must show you saying He's the big man. He is the big man. And you have to come to Him. You understand? You have to. Sometimes, enough of them, man, they, when they say they must shut and they must this and they must that. Guys, and them man they have them Bible in them back pocket. You understand? And them man they call upon God more than anything else. So we have to call upon our God. After now, do not, we're not doing any wickedness. You want your friend with more than anything else. Mm -hmm. So guys, yes, we'll come again one more time again. Valdi, this is not Valdi. I have a lot of things to talk about. I have a lot of things to talk about. I'm a binge reader. You know? I've, I've been through it, but I still can't give God the glory. I still can't raise my hand to him as a thank you, Father God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You understand? I still 
Mm -hmm. No matter where, what I've been through, no matter what I've been through, I still have joy. I still have the Holy Spirit. I still have God. I still have happiness. You understand? I still have life. Still trying. Yeah. Because only time you must stop trying, guys. Only time you must stop trying is when you tell me. When you don't have any more life. When your life is gone. That is the only time you must give up in life. Don't ever. You're going to feel tired. You're going to feel weary. You're going to say, Lord, everything we try, me feel. Father God, we can't bother. You're going to feel so far. We are human. We are human being. We are going to feel dismay. We are going to feel hopeless. We are going to feel like we can't bother. We are going to feel saying, no, we can't bother. I'm not try again. We can't bother everything we try to feel. But I'm not give up, man. Don't ever give up. Guys, we're going to give up. Yeah, don't give up. Right? Just try to hold on. Hold on. For even your kids. You have your younger kids, guys. Just do it for them. You understand? Just do it for them. Yeah. Because you say you do it already you know the songwriter say you do it already you will do it again you understand so when you hear them words they just hum them yeah man he will do it again man he will do it, he will do it over and over and over he never tired he never gives up on us right he always say hold on hold on a change is coming mm -hmm. Come in, have my, have my daughter and some I didn't have. I couldn't give up because the worst thing when I see young girl, little girls, little girls have to go to them way before time. You understand? Just because of wants. I go and do what I was supposed to do for my daughter. Right? So, at the end of the day, you know, guys, she's supposed to be the one that's supposed to do, I do my part, she's supposed to do her part. Don't make a picnic come say my mother never did help me. Mm -mm. Don't make them call on the name. Don't make them call on the name. Right? So, guys, yes, I think I'm giving a mouthful. You know, when I want to draw this something too long and boring. You understand? So, leave you all with this again. The darkest part of the night is when they soon light. You understand? And uh, just keep on holding on. Right? They'll come out with flying colors flying colors guys don't think about the bad and whatever just think look forward push ahead you know it's good better best never let it rest till the good be better your better best so guys thanks again for watching please remember to subscribe to the channel right turn on the post notification bell enjoy yourself guys enjoy your sunday have a blessed and wonderful Sunday. Press the like button, guys. Oh, I forgot to tell you that. Press the like button. May God bless you all. I love you all. I appreciate you all. See you all in the next video. And bye.